Kobe G Gamers. Today, we're going to be reacting to another requested video by Kobe G. Go check him out. Leave him in the description. Anyways, the video we'll be reacting to is the Heisei Godzilla Kaiju Profile by Wikizilla. Go check him out. Link will be in the description. And this is also the first time we'll be reacting to Wikizilla. But anyways, without further ado, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will not miss out on any new videos. Let's get into this video. Oh yeah, guys, I can't wait. Hey, Kaiju fans, it's Titan Alante, and Sub today we're talking about the Heisei incarnation of the King of the Monsters, Godzilla. Yes, it's finally time! Ooh, we're gonna see Burning Godzilla too. I mean, of course, he is Heisei Godzilla. Nice! We're gonna see all the Heisei Godzilla. Nice music. That's what I'm talking about. An irradiated Godzilla source, the Heisei Godzilla, also known as the third generation Godzilla, yeah, starts that's not being 80 meters tall in his debut film, The Return of Godzilla, through Godzilla vs. Biollante. After being incapacitated by the anti-nuclear energy bacteria, the Heisei Godzilla goes into hibernation for a period of two years, after which he keeps two on years. Wow. Soil, revitalizing him and causing him to grow time. in size to 100 meters. In this empowered state, the Heisei Godzilla is known as powered-up third-generation Godzilla, or alternatively, fourth-generation Godzilla. In Godzilla vs. Destoroyah, yeah, that's a burning Godzilla, you do not want to mess Godzilla with him. Godzilla absorbs a large amount of radiation, turning the monster into burning Godzilla. This iteration of the Monster King was portrayed by original Hedora and Gaigan suit actor Ken Patsuro Satsuma throughout what all the seven heck? Heisei films. Satsuma? While was Wataru Fukuda played the Godzilla, played the Godzilla read all of it. The Heisei King of the Monsters does okay, not that was the Godzilla heroic source. personality of the second Showa Godzilla. Yeah, the dance moves! Instead to the villainous persona of the original. However, while the original Godzilla appeared actively vengeful towards humanity, the Heisei G is initially portrayed as a sympathetic and tragic being who is simply lost in human civilization and trying to survive causing destruction as a consequence. Progressively, he began actively causing destruction and was portrayed as the primary villain in a couple of movies. Hmm. In Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, the Big G began transitioning into an anti-hero character and raised an infant member of his species Aww. as his son. Yeah, Godzilla 2, you know how it is series, Godzilla battled against you monsters more that malevolent is. than himself, while the character Miki Saigusa insisted that Godzilla was an intelligent being with human-like sentiments. Shown in Godzilla vs. Destoroya, where he displays visible grief and anger when his adopted son is killed by Destoroya. The Heisei Godzilla's look is mostly consistent throughout his film appearances, with details like dorsal plate shape, neck length, and eye color being the biggest differences, oh. although his initial design in the original oh, yeah, Godzilla look looks substantially different from subsequent suits. The nicknames for the Heisei Godzilla suits are 84 Goji, Bayer Goji, and Gila Goji, okay. Bato Goji, Rado Goji, and lastly, Oge Goji and Desu Goji. Yep, Desu Goji. In Godzilla vs. King Adora, it's revealed that the Heisei Godzilla oh, is the actually a mutant of Godzilla Looks source. like a T-Rex. The character Kenichiro Terasawa hypothesized that a Godzilla That's source actually living a mutated on Magos Island in the Marshall Islands was exposed to the Castle Bravo hydrogen bomb test conducted Whoa. at nearby the King Adora in 1954 Bravo. Hydrogen and bomb into test. Godzilla. Wow. The Futurians, a group of time travelers from the year 2204, used this hypothesis to travel back to Lagos Island in 1944 and move the Godzilla Saurus off the island to the Bering Sea, where they presumed it would die far from the nuclear testing. However, the Futurians were responsible for creating this Godzilla in the first place, as a nuclear submarine crashed into the dinosaur's vicinity in the 1970s, transforming it into the same Heisei Godzilla. Yeah! Meaning, the Heisei Goji is not the 1954 Goji, and neither Godzilla was erased from history. Check out this video for a more in-depth explanation. Okay, the Godzilla vs. King Ador time travel plot. This the video history. would literally be over 30 minutes long if the Heisei Godzilla history was included. So it is oh, man. It's in its own separate video, which you can choose to watch right here. I mean, it'll make the video the longer, but... Arrival. Atomic Breath. Yep, the we all know the atomic breath. weapon is a focused 500,000 degree Celsius beam of radiation released from his mouth, capable of causing large explosions and severely wounding monsters at point blank range. Despite its power, some of the Big G's enemies have proven resistant to the standard atomic breath. Spiral Heat Ray. Spiral Heat Ray. A stronger ray. variation of the standard atomic breath, this was an attack wrapped in an electrical spiral. Godzilla first used this beam to decapitate King Ghidorah's Whoa, look, little head after King his regular Ghidorah's atomic breath got... was shown having Whoa. little effect well, on King Ghidorah. This first iteration of the spiral breath is still blue in color, surrounded Godzilla. by a purplish spiral of energy. 
and before Godzilla fires it, his dorsal plates are surrounded in blue electricity. That's cool! As a result of Godzilla absorbing Fire Rodan's energy in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, the color of this beam was changed to red, and it was so powerful that a few blasts of it were enough to destroy Super Mechagodzilla and Space Godzilla, yeah. though Destoroya was able to withstand several hits. And Mogera! The fires a different red spiral ray in each film. Helped Godzilla. First, the uranium atomic heat ray, peaking at 1.2 million degrees Celsius, then the burn spiral heat ray oh, wow. or nuclear fusion heat ray at around 900,000 degrees Celsius and burning Godzilla's two different beams, the burning heat ray and the infinite heat ray. The infinite, the infinite heat, ray. heat ray was utilized against Destoroyah once burning Godzilla began that to enter so meltdown much damage. and is said to increase immeasurably in power each time Godzilla uses it. Whoa. Nuclear pulse. The King of the Monsters can emit atomic energy in all directions from every inch of his body in a short range pulse. First seen in his fight against nah, Biolante, uh. where he used it to break free from Biolante's tendrils, he also utilized his attack against King Ghidorah when the latter was attempting to strangle Godzilla with his neck. Well, During his battle with Mothra, the Big G used a nuclear pulse to break free from the 3D mirror Mothra created a with her scales. 3D mirror? After being struck with Mechagodzilla's shock anchor harpoons, Goji discharged hurt. a form of energy up the cables, severely damaging the mech. Fighting Space Godzilla, Godzilla discharged energy through his physical blows, which overloaded the space monster with energy. After absorbing Fire Rodan's life force, Godzilla demonstrated the ability to give off huge amounts of radiation and heat so intense that it caused Super Mecha Godzilla's synthetic diamond armor to literally melt, oh, heck allowing yeah. the mech to be easily destroyed by Godzilla's Don't fire mess with ray. The king of the monsters. In GV Destoroya, when Godzilla's body temperature begins to approach critical levels due to his meltdown, he constantly emits Look at more that powerful thing behind orange his back. nuclear pulses, which, while ineffective mm. against the Super X3, did stun Destroya a few times and caused the area surrounding Godzilla to erupt in flames. In this case, the nuclear pulses appear to be uncontrollable and are a symptom of Godzilla's meltdown. Durability mm. The Heisei Godzilla is extremely durable and resistant to conventional human weaponry, and his cells, G cells, are a sought after scientific commodity. In addition to being used to genetically engineer plants to be resistant to drought, G cells give rise to the mutant creature Biolante, who retains the Big G's durability and healing factor, and who also is said to be incapable of dying. In GV King Ghidorah, the radiation dose absorbed from a nuclear submarine allowed Godzilla to purge the anti nuclear energy bacteria from his body, and after Fire Rodan imparted his energy into Godzilla, he was able to rapidly reform his destroyed second brain. Burning Godzilla had absorbed enough radiation from the Birth Island explosion that his power and regeneration oh, were enhanced. His mouth just exploded. Destroyer's horn katana left only external injuries despite slicing straight through his body. Straight Godzilla through also his survived body? spending five years inside Dang, Mount Mihara and brutal, falling into a volcanic gruesome. fault and swimming through miles of There's molten 1500 degree magma in GV Mothra. Physical strength. Man, how many, how many, how many abilities does this guy have? Distance, using his atomic oh breath, all of them up close. When forced to battle an opponent up close, the monster king still he has so many abilities. Strength, shown when he lifted King Adora by his tails and slammed it onto the ground repeatedly, mm. and when he nearly strangled Rodan up close when the latter attempted to attack Godzilla while he was on the ground. He was also able to almost effortlessly lift Mechagodzilla by its head and throw it, Whoa. despite its incredible mass. I mean, I have seen that movie Amphibiousness. before. I'm just saying. It's Godzilla has an so amphibious cool. lifestyle and is as adept a fighter underwater as he is on land. So Godzilla is like an amphibian. In the sea the amphibiousness. On occasions, fighting Batra, Violante, and Mothra either beneath or on the surface. Man, of this the guy has so many abilities. So being submerged does not impede his atomic ray. Intelligence. Intelligence. This Godzilla often reacts on animal cunning, shown through his conditioned response yeah, to super is smart. flares and Dr. Hayashida's magnetic wave transmitter, and through instinct, as he was said to use magnetic patterns in the atmosphere to navigate, like birds. He was still capable of independent thought, however, and according to Miki Saiguza, of human-like sentiments as well, corroborated by his mourning the death of Godzilla Jr. In GV yeah, Space Godzilla, Junior, no. during the final battle, Godzilla Not was the first to figure out that Space Godzilla was drawing energy from the Fukuoka Tower I'm and just demolished kidding. the tower with the help of I'm land water. Around. The Heisei Godzilla had some manner of psychic link with Godzilla Jr. He was also able to shrug off Miki Saigusa's attempts at psychic influence during a face-to-face -face encounter in GV Biolante, Whoa. and even when she was aided by the technology of Project T in Godzilla vs. Space Jeez. Godzilla. Energy absorption and projection. Energy absorption and projection. Because Godzilla's heart okay. is a biological nuclear reactor, 
He relies on nuclear power That's to cool. sustain his metabolism, and drives his sustenance from absorbing energy from active man-made nuclear reactors. In one case, the energy absorbed from a nuclear sub was enough to allow Godzilla's immune system to purge the Anna from his body and cause him to grow 20 meters in height. When Birth Island exploded, Godzilla absorbed a tremendous influx of radiation which made him substantially more powerful, though it eventually led to his meltdown. According to Kenichi Yamane, yeah, Godzilla's heart sad. contained enough nuclear power to create, quote, a burst of energy Whoa. unseen since time began that would cause the Earth's atmosphere oh, to ignite if that? it exploded. If Godzilla's meltdown was not kept under control by G-Force's freezer weapons, his heart would have melted down into the Earth's core and caused the planet to implode. Godzilla is also That's able to weaponize crazy. his own nuclear power in the form of his atomic breath or nuclear pulse, and constantly emits lethal amounts of radiation. So Bernie Godzilla Godzilla will be able to destroy, destroy the world to by, the by going down to the core agent, of the Earth. Which manages to briefly stir that Junior to life. Cool. When Godzilla melts down, he imparts his energy into Junior's corpse, reviving and mutating him Let's into go, a fully Godzilla grown Junior! Godzilla. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. The Monster King is shown to have a critical weakness to cadmium, an element commonly used to slow nuclear reactions. The Super <gasps> expired its full payload of cadmium missiles into the monster's mouth, temporarily stopping his heart and knocking him <clears throat> unconscious. It was also utilized by the Super X3 to freeze burning Godzilla. In GVMG2, the Big G is revealed to have a second brain in his spine, and Super Mecha Godzilla paralyzed him from the waist down by destroying it. Ooh. It was also suggested in GV Space Godzilla that Godzilla has a soft spot under each armpit, but this alleged weak point was never successfully exploited. The only other human-made weapon shown to be effective against Godzilla was Dr. Shiragami's anti-nuclear energy bacteria, Enid. Bacteria genetically engineered from G-cells designed to consume radioactivity. Whoa. The Anib managed to lower the radioactivity within Godzilla's body enough to force him into hibernation for two years. For two Godzilla years? Godzilla also went through meltdown after the monster's wow. internal reactor was unable to cope with the huge influx of radiation he absorbed from the Birth Island explosion. Trivia? According it's to concept artist time. Shinji Nishikawa, Godzilla He's was originally so written to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex prior to being abilities. Mutated. Nishikawa, however, said he couldn't accept the idea that Godzilla was mutated from a Tyrannosaurus, so he came up with the yeah, idea that to take Godzilla's source right. and submitted that's a concept art of it right. to Toho, ultimately leading to its inclusion in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. It's common knowledge that a 4.8 meter tall Cybot Godzilla was constructed Whoa! for the return of Godzilla. However, oh, fewer people know that there were that. two different 84 Gozi that suits creepy. that were extremely similar in appearance. Similarly, Godzilla vs. Biollante had three suits the second used for land scenes, and the third for water scenes, while well, the first one made, called the No Good Suit, was deemed unacceptable and appeared only in publicity photos and for the scene when Godzilla approached the Twin 21 Towers, plus a mechanical upper half for Godzilla. For Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, the land suit, renamed Gidogoji, Shinjuku Battle, was given a new head and used to fight Mecha King Ghidorah and later in specific shots when it was cut in half. The 1989 C-suit was modified, renamed Gidogoji Hokkaido Battle, and used for the majority of Godzilla vs King Ghidorah. And that's only scratching the surface of all the little tidbits regarding the Heisei suits. Okay. The Hokkaido Battle suit has the distinction the of being the only Godzilla, Godzilla suit? suit to be stolen. What? News that made its way around the world. Oh, no, no, no. Well, Nobody Heisei steals beware. Godzilla. Godzilla is on the loose. Unbelievably, someone has stolen the rubber Godzilla model from oh, the Japanese no. Special Effects Department in Tokyo. A model Hope they got arrested a new Godzilla for that. movie coming out in Japan. Now, the theft won't affect the film's premiere. I'm sure you're glad to hear that. I know. Jerry's relieved. But the 13-foot high-tech model is worth 39000 bucks. $39,000? 39, yen for their favorite movie star. They want him back. Has anyone checked with King Kong? The suit no, disappeared I before Godzilla vs. Mothra began shooting, and was to have but been used in several of the scenes Godzilla too strenuous for the new Batawaji suit. Thankfully, it was eventually retrieved and used in the final movie. That's all we have for the Heisei Godzilla. Oh, that's all? Okay. If you haven't watched the history video yet, do so now if you'd like. Okay. See ya. Bye. Guys, I really enjoyed that video, but nobody, I mean nobody, steals the Godzilla suit. But anyways, big shout out to Kobe G for requesting this. But anyways, this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will not miss out on any new videos I premiere. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.